Hello everybody, it's Zef here, and today I'm going to be giving you a really quick tutorial on how to fix this bug with the NVIDIA in-game overlay. So first I'll just give you a summary of the issue. Basically, if you try to open your uh, GeForce Experience overlay and change anything, you can't move your mouse. You can, however, operate with the arrow keys, but if you wanted to do something like the game filter, for example, which is what I want, because... Um, DVD is borderline unplayable with our game filter in my opinion, too dark in actual matches. Um, you can't operate anything with the arrow keys in this menu. Um, thankfully, <laughs> there is a super easy fix. Also shameless plug, if you want to follow me, I'm going to be grinding the event. Anyway, uh, all you need to do, and I'm sure it's pretty similar on Apex, I think in that case you need to go windowed borderless, but you just need to get out full screen to change your settings. So just head over to graphics, literally just turn off full screen. And then once you do that, if you try to open the NVIDIA overlay, you'll notice it suddenly works like an absolute charm. So now I can come in here, turn on my in-game overlay. Might take you a couple seconds for your eyes to adjust that. It is a lot brighter. Um, and yeah, that's all. And then once you've made whatever changes you want to make, you go back into graphics and you turn back on full screen. And it's as simple as that. Um, if in my case you're doing it for the in-game overlay, it will work every time you boot up the game unless you reset your drivers and then you'll have to fix it again. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take NVIDIA to rectify this issue, so you might have to deal with this for a few months. I'm not sure, but it was really, really annoying me. Um, when I first tried to figure out how to solve the issue, I could only find one uh, article related to it on the NVIDIA customer help website, and the workaround they suggested about alt-tabbing and tabbing back in did absolutely nothing to help. But uh, yeah, the fix is super simple and easy. And that's all you have to do. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment and let others know um, when they click on the video that it works by writing a simple little comment saying, yeah, it worked for me, whatever. Uh, if you have any problems, likewise, comment down below and I'll try and help you. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I am going to go over my in-game settings and show you a comparison of before and after for Dead by Daylight just to brighten the game if you're interested. But as for the actual fix solution in this video, that portion's over. And if that's all you're here for, you can safely click off of this video. Uh, I hope you found it helpful. Anyway, if you're still here, I'm assuming you maybe like my game settings or maybe you think, oh, they're all right, but there's a couple changes I'd like to make and you'd maybe like to use them as a baseline or you've never really done it before and you're not sure where to start. Super easy, super simple. Um, what I recommend doing is calibrating your settings in game because the lobby isn't a great indicator of how things look in game. Um, so there's a couple of methods for doing this. The first would be to get in a custom game with your friend, go on a dark map, something like the uh, the Gideon meat packing plant is a great example. Downstairs, very dark. But if you don't have a friend available at the moment or whatever, and you'd still like to do this, there's another super easy way of doing it. Um, all you wanna do is back out to the main menu and go into the getting started section. Now in here, you could really go with any of these options, I suppose. I'm personally going to pick survive with bots. Kill the bots would work just the exact same. I just prefer to see things from a survivor perspective when calibrating because that's what I play more, but it really doesn't matter. Kill the bots gives you the advantage of not worry, having to worry about an AI killer chasing you around. So really up to you. And if you've never done any of these, it's free blood points, even if you play the game for ages. I don't think I did these till I had like 800 hours, so because <laughs> they weren't in the game when I started playing. Um, anyway, so I'm going to click survive with bots and I'll just run through everything with you. Okay, so here we are in game and I've just got the default Dead by Daylight graphic settings back on just to show you what it looks like. I mean, it's fucking horrible. <laughs> way, way too dark. I mean, it's obviously meant to be a horror game, but like... There are, there are other maps where it's just ridiculous, uh, it's just too dark. Um, this is the map you'll always play in the tutorial though, so what I recommend doing is coming up to the main building and just walking in this room. It's quite dark in here, so it's a good place to calibrate your settings. So what you're going to want to do first, as I explained before, is go into your graphics, turn off full screen, and then open your overlay. So I'm just going to turn mine on. So here it is. Um, I'll just go through all the settings. Feel free to pause the video. I'll give a brief explanation. So the major one here is the brightness slash contrast. You can add all these filters by clicking add filter and then selecting from the list like so. I'm not going to do that though because I already have them. 
For me, what I mainly wanted to do was turn the contrast down to negative 100 and the shadows down to negative 100. So the contrast, it just kind of, it really, it just works as how the brightness, like the exposure and the gamma you'd think would work, but the gamma just kind of adds like this weird white overlay thing to it. It doesn't really look very nice. I have it on a little bit just to add a little bit of extra brightness to it but and same thing with exposure if you crank that all the way up you get these weird reflection bugs on a lot of services i don't know how to explain it it's just they look kind of weird i don't really like them so i don't have that very high and then the shadows is the big one all this does is basically um like if you have this at zero this is like um the the darkest dark points will be like absolute black right whereas by dragging these down the darkest anything can be Will be a lot lighter and so this basically ensures that no matter what map you're playing on no matter how dark things are unless the actual thing you're looking at is pure black um, it will be bright for you so you don't have to worry about visibility on anything it just totally fixes the problem you will never not be able to see a dark little corner in this game again uh, that is my personal guarantee to you now obviously you can tweak these settings and mess around however you want um, the other thing i have on here this is just a subtle little tweak uh, I have the color thing. I've turned the tint completely off because tint is horrible and just made it look purple. It was weird. So I zeroed these out and I just cranked the vibrance up from zero to a hundred. Um, it doesn't oversaturate things, but it just injects a lot of brightness and color in, back into the game. I think it just makes it more pleasant to look at. And honestly, I cannot stand playing without it. Uh, and the final thing I have in here is just a sharpness thing. So I've got that cranked up to 60, which is kind of high, but not too high. I think it just makes everything look uh, clearer, crisper, it's just nice, and I've got the ignore film grain down, the game doesn't have film grain really, so, and that's it, just three simple effects. Okay, so once you've fiddled around in there and you've got your settings to how you like, you can safely exit out of that, maybe keep a record of them if you do update your drivers regularly because it will completely erase that, and you can safely go back into full screen, every time you boot the game back up your game settings will automatically be applied again as long as you um hopefully some of you found this helpful but yeah that's pretty much it hope you enjoyed leave a like subscribe i've got plenty of other dead by daylight videos uploaded and i've got plenty more on the way and i stream regularly on twitch at the moment so feel free to give me a follow there and if i'm not live and you want to know when i am live check out my twitter anyway that's all have a good one goodbye